Okay, welcome to tutorial number five. My name is Tom Antos, and today I'm gonna show you some examples from a new music video. It's gonna be released um, uh, maybe late this year or early next year. Uh, we're gonna work on two different sequences, both of which use HMI uh, PAR lighting. Um, I'll just l let you watch the first sequence. Here. Okay, so as you can see, the whole sequence takes place outside, and you might think to yourself, uh, why would I bother with lights since we're shooting outside and it's a nice sunny day? But, uh, I mean, you know, when you're shooting outside, you always need some kind of a fill light, right? A lot of times you can just get away with using a reflector and that kind of stuff. But um, but for music videos especially, um, you know, uh, where you want that kind of a... You know, kind of a glamorous kind of look. Uh, all the things that need to be, you know, I mean, uh, well exposed are well exposed, and also that you have some kind of contrast uh, in the shot to to give it a kind of a glamour look. And so that's what HMI lights are really good for because they output a lot of power. And you know, when you're shooting outside and and you have to compete with the strength of the light that the sun provides, you really do need to make sure that you have powerful enough lights. In this case, uh, we actually only had uh, a 1200 watt HMI PAR. So as you can see in this shot, um, it may, the light might not be very evident, but basically what the light is doing is just lighting the, the, the girl's face. Uh, so it's kind of acting as a, as a fill light, whereas the sound, which is exactly behind the, the girl, is acting more like a, like a rim light. Uh, one of the reasons why I did it like that is because a I wanted to have that very strong rim lights and since the sun is going to be stronger than the HMI light that I'm using, that that works well. And because also the location that we're shooting at, if I, uh, did not work very well if I was if I pointed the camera basically in the other uh, position. And here you can see with the light off, uh, there's a big difference. Basically, she's she's way underexposed. Here we put the light back on and. Um, and it just looks a lot better. And here, for example, in this shot, uh, we also use the HMI light, but more as a. Uh, this time was more as a kind of a rim light, uh, kind of a rim slash fill light, just to the left side of the of the camera. And um, and in this shot, for example, since the actor was in the car and his face was way way underexposed. Uh, we had the HMI par light as face just to the right side of the camera. Uh, okay, now we're gonna work on this restaurant sequence. Uh, this the same music video. So this is how how I would start working on this sequence. Uh, like on any shoot, I usually try to scout all the locations a few weeks before. So I can see what kind of shots are possible, and um, f based on that I do my storyboards. So here you can see me setting up the camera on a dolly, just testing it out, making sure that uh, I can achieve the same kind of camera move that I storyboarded. Uh, here is a little rehearsal with the actor, I'm just wa blocking the shot out. Uh, we have uh, one of the PAs standing in for the waitress. But as you can see right away, uh, it's basically way, way too dark. And the reason is because we have these huge windows behind there. And it's a nice, bright, sunny day outside. So basically there's a lot more light outside than there is inside. And I have to compensate for it. Now I could do it in different ways. Uh, I could bring up the exposure in camera, like you see here. But then obviously the problem is that everything outside is way overexposed. So in order to fix the problem, what I end up using is uh, one of the HMI PAR lights, which is a 1200 watt HMI. Um, and I put it just to the right side of the camera, uh, outside one of the windows, you can see here. Um, and I just point it right at the subject. Here you can see me testing it out with one of the extras while the actors are getting their makeup done. And um, here uh, we do another rehearsal with the lights. looks a lot better. Uh, what I end up actually adding though uh, is this big softbox that you see up here f just to the left side of the camera just to balance out the, the, the other side of the, the, the subject's face. 
and then the last thing that I do is uh, I add a 1000 watt light there just to the left side of the of the actor as he comes out just to create add a little bit of a rim and just to help bring him uh, separate him from the background and that's pretty much it um, this is how it looks and here's another little sequence that we shot um, where we also use HMI lights um, it's all indoors and the reason why I used it is because I just needed a lot of just big soft uh, you know kind of ambient light that bounces all over the walls so basically I just took one of those HMI lights and just bounced it off of the, the ceiling uh, and as you can see provided enough soft kind of equal light uh, to light the whole uh, the whole office and that's really the reason why uh, HMI lights are so good they're very powerful yet they operate at reasonably cool temperatures and they don't use that much uh, power especially when you consider how much uh, how much light they output um, and I guess you know they are big uh, and, and, and heavy to, to operate uh, and they can be expensive sometimes to rent but um, but other than that, they're 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 uh, they really are uh, a lifesaver in many situations when you're filming. Um, for those of you who always ask me what what camera I used on this project, uh, we shot this on the Canon XH A1 with the Red Rock Micro uh, adapter and 35 millimeter lenses from Nikon, uh, still SLR lenses. Um, so that's pretty much it. And uh, next tutorial, I'll show you uh, more examples from the same music video. But uh, kind of just show you how uh, using color correction and and some very simple uh, light uh, lighting tricks you can create totally change the mood of a scene. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.